Good morning and welcome to day nine, cycling across Australia. I don't know what time it is, because we've gone through another time zone, so I think it's seven in the morning. We've got about 200 k's to ride today. It's gonna be a headwind again, but after today, it should be a tailwind. So we're feeling fairly positive. It's gonna be a long one, because our legs are smashed. But you know what Ken said? Eat lots of sweets. Eat lots of sweets, and things should be getting easier from now on. Your body starts to adapt, and then you just get used to this sort of mileage. You ready? Are you ready, kids? Gonna miss our little house, mate. I'm not really gonna miss it. Let's go. water in a bit see just over there i don't want to go too far down because we could end up going for ages and ages and ages we're at the bottom of australia now basically that's mad nuts isn't it so here we are i don't know if you can hear me because we're riding into a headwind despite the fact that we're riding into this headwind we're actually very positive we can see the sea the scenery's changed completely we are now officially in the nullarbor national park the road surface is super super smooth I think the speed limit for cars is lower because everyone's taking it a lot easier, giving us loads of space. With the headwind, it's about 19 k's an hour on the front when you're sat there. So nothing crazy. We're just happy with a bit of change in environment. It's amazing. We're going with 30 kilometer turns as it stands, just alternating between that. When we get a bit tired later, maybe we'll make them shorter, but let's see how it goes. No stops on today's ride at all. There's literally nothing in between the Border House and the Nullarbor Roadhouse, which is where we're heading. So we stocked up, got a couple of sandwiches each, loads of water which in turn reduces our stopping time because they're not waiting for a cooked meal or anything like that all good we're just bugging away this is just what we do now right into headwinds the signs have changed what they were every 10 k's we're trying to really knock it back and not ride too hard into this headwind because it's just not worth getting there 40 minutes quicker if you're absolutely wrecked like we were a couple of days back just staying on top of stretching as usual and praying praying that tomorrow will be a tailwind. Um, the app still says, yeah. Although we haven't had signal for a bit. Might have changed. What signal? They install these things. They're just there to look pretty. Pylons, they're like boosters. Yeah. So when we're at the roadhouses, we should have signal, but apparently they haven't been working recently. So that's great. Bit of end of it, peanut butter, jam. Mate. Ice cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No Thank you so much. Mate, uh, thank you really so much. It. Thank you. This legend gave us some lovely cold water. Ice cold. Mm. Just at the right time. Mm. Cutting your turn short, mate. He had a better moustache than you. It's not that hard, is it? It's not that hard. That was an actual snake! That was an actual snake and it was alive! Did you get that on camera? Yeah. That was eventful. Guy stopped for gave us water. That was really nice. Thanks man. Um, maybe we'll see him at the roadhouse later. It's really nice because the water's expensive out here. Saw an actual snake. <coughs> Pretty sure it was a poisonous one. It definitely might have been a poisonous one. I'm not a snake expert, but... Uh, he had that sort of that swagger to him that made him look poisonous. One. Yeah, but he, he, like we thought it was dead, so we didn't give it any space and then it retracted very quickly and scampered off into the and then scampered off into the bush. Yeah, that could have gone badly, I guess. He's alive, we're alive, everything's good. Joe wow. Kendrick didn't see a single snake. Speaking of Joe Kendrick, he's the guy who's got the record for the fixed gear lap of the whole of Australia. Nuts. But he's London based and I was chatting to him. These sour patch kids. They're vegan. His recommendation. <laughs> All we've got to do now ride 64 k's an hour we'll be there in an hour that's your job mate now isn't it yeah it's my turn got a handful of sour patches left and then i move on to my snakes don't stack it it's annoying because the other leg happened a few months ago i know how to deal with it i just can't rest it that's the problem day after tomorrow we've got a rest day and then yeah i mean that'll be our chance to try and fix it i'm just gonna roll it a bit tonight but not too much because we've still got 200k tomorrow 
your leg day, mate. We could do with a foam roller that's not a bottle of Coke. It's <laughs> just the harshest foam roller ever. Look. Sorry, we're going to go. Oh, we found a new animal, didn't we? Well, one. Lizard. Oh, lizard. <laughs> yeah, I got loads of lizards today. I'm to to attack you because <laughs> you went past. He was like, yeah. And then he literally probably went, yeah. 150 k's back to that other roadhouse. That would be quicker than riding the fucking 60 we've got. 34. You know what would be quicker? What? Going this way, getting a fucking boat from Perth, sailing around the world because of their tailwind, then just cool. mooring up in fucking Melbourne. Mate, where's your sense of adventure? What do you mean my sense of adventure? I don't want to get a boat. That'd be well exciting. Where's your sense be more exciting than this fucking road. If it's towing tomorrow, I retract everything I say. It is quite fun, isn't it? It is quite fun. You just get up a bit and get your momentum going. Leathery. Leathery. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh man. That could be worse. We could be in England where it's raining. Good point. <laughs> Boys. Alright oh, guys. Well, well, I just want to say a big thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I really appreciate it. You, you made good headway, boys. Yeah, it was alright. Yeah. Considering Especially the wind. the wind, yeah. That's the killer. It's but it's crazy. good for the legs, good for the lungs. That's pretty, that's pretty good, because yeah. when I was in Europe, I, I used to be pretty proud of myself if I did 120k. Wait, yeah, but there's mountains in Europe. Yeah, how many gears you got? Uh, oh, so we've got, we're running 11 seven. speed and two on the front, so yeah. 22 gears. Yeah, so I had 10. And these ones that actually turns the other way, yeah. <laughs> One of those magic doors that turns the way that you'd think would lock it. That guy was a legend. He was a hero, wasn't he? <laughs> There's a guide on the back of the door about snakes. We definitely saw a King Brown today. Yeah. Um, and it was like a black one. It's probably that one, Western Brown. Barry. Hello. It's for you. It's Kevin the cat. Giant whale there. Here we see Chris in his native environment, the ice cream fridge. I've been distracted, mate. What? <laughs> I, don't, I don't eat ice cream, I don't know. No. You delayed my getting second dinner because you wanted to edit your video and the restaurant closed. Sorry, man. You're a horrible person, Francis Cade of YouTube fame. Resorted I'm getting you lean. I don't need to get lean. So there's another example of kindness from strangers. Those guys were wicked and they stopped and gave us water earlier. It's amazing the sort of people you meet on trips like this. He was telling us all about how he used to cycle through Europe and he had people offer him help when he was doing his trips. He was a walrus, wasn't he? Cyclists of a great tash. That's the prerequisite of being a walrus. Right, we're gonna um, hit the hay because we've got 207 k's to ride tomorrow, which is a pretty long way. Fingers crossed, it's not gonna be a headwind. You said that wrong. <laughs> if you said that wrong, I was about to go with something to launch it. You then, because you nearly said tailwind then. <laughs>